Welcome back friends. Today let's see about the electronic configuration. So by introduction in the advanced level electronic configuration we are using it is not a that of ordinary level. So here we are using another system. First of all electronic configuration is just the arrangement of electron in orbitals of an atom. So, as we know, every atom has a certain number of electrons, and when we arrange those electrons in the orbitals, it is what we call the electronic configuration. So, here we have three principles governing electronic configuration. When you are lighting electronic configuration, you should make sure that these three principles, they are followed and sometimes they can give you different electronic configurations and they ask which among the principles of electronic configuration is not followed then they ask you to state that principle so alpha bow principle alpha bow principle states that orbitals are freed in order for increasing energy level remember we said that i told you earlier that energy level of a certain orbit, we can get it by adding principal quantum number n plus the usual quantum number n. So, for example, here, according to their order, it starts 1s, 2s, 3, 2s, then 2p, 3s, 3p etc. Now, in this first series, it doesn't confuse. But if you look here, here down, there is no illustration, but I can upload the independent video explaining about this. If you look here, there is something confusion at in front, there is something confusion because it starts 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, then it comes 4, 3p, then it comes 4, 4, it comes 4d, then 4s, then it comes 3d, 4s, then 3d. So someone can ask 4s, then 3d, how it comes? Because 4s principal quantum number is 4, then as the is 0, so it is 4. But 3d principal quantum number is 3, then as the is 2, that is equal to 5. So I will upload another video also explaining about the electronic configuration. If you don't understand, just look on my another video which will be written as electronic configuration. But the second law is about Kuhn's rule of maximum multiplicity. So, Hohn's rule, pairing of electron is not allowed until each orbital is occupied singly. In orbitals, orbitals, we draw them as boxes. So, as I have explained in my another video, orbitals, we draw them as boxes. So, until every box is filled with electron, then we can start pairing them. Paul Execution principle No two electrons can have all four quantum numbers the same. No two electrons can have all four quantum numbers the same. Or, in other words, electrons are not allowed to spin in the same direction. So, you can't draw all the electrons directed in one side, they must be changing because of this positive and negative magnetic quantum number. So just examples are here, methods of lighting, electronic propagation. You can use sub energy level method that what you are lighting one is two, two is two. One is principal quantum number. S is sub level. Then two is number of electron. For example, this is two S six means we have six electrons. We have booked Box method, then we have no bogus structure. Um, 
I will be explaining all these in my illustrations videos because here it is challenging. I can't explain them for you to understand. But I hope in my illustration videos about electronic population you will understand. Thank you. Just follow for the follow for the other videos which I will be uploading just on finishing calculations and and all about the electronic configuration of ions and some of the parts of the atomic orbit and the hydrogen spectrum. But here is the end of atomic spectrum. Uh, here is the end of general chemistry part one, that is atomic structure. And after uploading those videos of illustration, I will start bonding, chemical bonding. Thank you, everybody. Have nice studies. Remember to join my Telegram group. Click the link below. Thank you.